what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to another uh, episode of uh, Aqua Beast Fishing. Uh, today we're going to be uh, fishing a creek for uh, some smallies, maybe get into a drum or two. Uh, we're on the way right now. Alright guys, we made it. Uh, I'm, we're going to hopefully catch some smallies. I'm just uh, like four or five weight. And then this is Matt, a buddy of mine. And uh, we're both throwing just the black woolly bugger. So hopefully that works because we're both throwing it. Now, I mean, we can always change to like white. The yeah. water's really clear, so I'm thinking the black should work pretty well. Um, and yeah, we'll get back to you if we're, get, if we're on one. Alright, so when you're in like a, like a stream like this and you're, well, no matter what you're fishing for essentially, but especially smallmouth, trout, steelhead, you want to look for spots where there's current like this, and then you want, after that current, you want to take, like go into a deeper pool, like right here, you can tell it gets deeper because it's a lot darker, and you can see how to the left over here, it's a, like the water slows down, so essentially is what fish will be doing, hopefully smallmouth, I've not cast in here yet. Hopefully a smallmouth is sitting in this deep pool, waiting for bait to come down this current, and then it's just gonna, it's gonna munch it. So, let's give it a go. Anything could be in here. Gar, smallmouth, drum, carp. Hey, he's got one, he's got one. Smallmouth? Yes sir, we're on one, boys. Let's go. Matt's got the first one of the day. Just told him to go fish that pool because I wanted to explain about this pool and uh, he got one. That's exciting though. Okay, so the first spot, I would not call it a bust. Matthew, who's behind the camera right there, show yourself. Hell yeah. Matthew got one, which it was, it was a solid smallie because um, anyway, he caught one. I didn't get any hits. Uh, they took out a spillway there, which really sucks because typically right under that spillway you can catch fish. Um, so now we're headed to do uh, the second spot. It's 8.01. So we probably got like an hour and 15 minutes till it's like too dark. So uh, I'll see you at the second spot. All right, so I decided to tie on a white fly. It's getting a little darker and I just want something to stick out a little bit more because they they're seem to be pretty active right now. Let's see how it does. Oh. Man, finally. It's been a long day. Solid little smallie. Look at that little guy. It's a nice little little eight incher. <laughs> just a. It just feels good to get on one here, guys. It's been a tough day for me, finally. It's about to ramp up right here. Another one, this spot's money. Can we get a double up? Is that a smallmouth? Yeah, it is. Look at That's that. That's a tank. Another one. Look how small this one is. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, he is on. Oh, my gosh. Look how small this is. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Guys. Oh man, that's hilarious. Yeah. Guys, this is guys, this is guys, this is a chunk. Holy. Look at the Oh he got off. Do you see how small that yeah, was? Yeah, that thing was crazy. It was like a freaking one inch sunfish. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh we got off the water at like 940, it's 944. Um it was not my day. I, I probably I caught three small and a rock bass, so I mean at least something. Uh, Matt did really well. Yeah. 
Uh, Wit got a few. The, the, the camera guy got on him. Little Wit, big shout out to Little Wit for a bunch of footage. Um, that was a super fun day though. Fishing little streams like that, on the like catching anything on the fly in streams like that just never gets old. Like I highly suggest doing it. Um, and we, we caught all those on like a black or a white wooly bugger. That's just like the go-to, like fly fishing. All right, it's uh, 7.25 a.m. the next morning after last night, which was okay. Um, it's Father's Day. It's me, my pops, and his friend, Lee. And uh, we're, I'm heading to a spot that we've not gone to in the last couple days. So hopefully it's fresh with some smallmouth and rock bass as I walk down this trail. All right, I'll get back to you when we're on them. Right there in the current. Should be a small mouth. Woo! Feisty. First one of the day. Nice little small mouth right in the current. Woo! And he's gone. Three pound bass. It was unbelievable. Wait, what do you mean your feet? In my feet. I was wading out in the middle of it. Oh, and it just swam right by it you? It swam right by me. It was <laughs> unbelievable. Like large mouth or small mouth? You know, it was hard to tell, but this, this was fish good. was, it was a two or three pounder. I mean, it was one that you would, you would be proud of. You would be freaking out. Right? Wow, that's I awesome. I was so impressed. I was like, no way, there is something in here. You know, you'll be sitting like this, and like a foot of water, 40 pound carp will swim by you. Really? I mean, it doesn't happen every day, right. but it's happened. <laughs> there it is. I knew that should be a fish. All right, first rock bass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. crazy thing about these rock bass are these eyes these giant red eyes even on this little guy you can see how big his eyes are hooked up on another little rock bass rock bass oh quick easy release Rock bass. Rock bass are all over the place. Another rock. Rock bass. A little chunkier. Barely hooked. Let's put a measure on him. I'm just curious. He's about, see, I mean, inch. I knew there had to be one up in there. I just couldn't get it. <laughs> Thanks for uh, checking out another Aqua Beast video. Hope you enjoyed it. We ended up, I'd say I probably caught about six or seven rock bass in that smallie earlier this morning. My dad caught about six to eight rock bass on top water, which was fun. Good to know that top water works. And his buddy caught like one, but he was only there for a couple hours. So no, it, it was a good time. Got the speedy freeze on the way back. And getting that gas at Jimmy John's. So, uh, uh, if you liked it, subscribe. Uh, give us a like. And I'll see you next time.
All right, so first spot. I'm at the lights. Turn right onto south.